Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am at the Neemaj base of Chinese Aviation Academy and uh, we'll be talking about pattern flying. So let's get started. So pattern flying is all about learning how to become an instructor. You'll fly 20 hours on the right hand seat as an instructor, whereas the senior CFI who's pattern approved will be sitting on the left hand seat behaving as a student. Okay. So this particular 20 hours of flying, there's a set syllabus that is given by DGCA, which is being followed by everybody who's doing their pattern flying. You have to do 20 hours of pattern flying to get your AFIR rating. Before the 20 hours of pattern begins, you have to also do 20 hours of ground classes with that same CFI who will be teaching you on ground about the very same subjects, about the details and all the syllabus that is there mentioned for the AFIR rating. From the beginning of the ground classes till the end of your pattern flying, the duration should not be more than 120 days. So that is the timeline that has been set and a particular set syllabus is being followed which has been given by DGCA as I stated before. So that syllabus is followed according to the duration. Okay, In one particular day you cannot fly more than one hour of pattern flying. So there are many different sorties, many different exercises that are there, some of which have a duration of more than, more than one hour. So to do those particular exercises it should be divided into two different halves. Let's say there's a particular exercise which is of one and a half duration, one and a half hour duration. So you fly 45 minutes on one particular day and the remaining 45 minutes on the next day. There is only one particular exercise that is there which is known as a pilot navigation sortie. So that particular exercise is of a fixed duration of one and a half hours and there is a particular extra uh, allowance given for that particular exercise as well. So that is the only exercise that you can fly more than one hour during your pattern flying. So the duration for that exercise is of one and a half hours. So we will get into the detail of these flying hours, 20 hours of patter in detail in the next few videos. I'll talk about each of the exercise in a different video in full detail, even telling you how to do the patter, what it is all about. For now, we have to understand that we first do 20 hours of ground class followed by 20 hours of patter flying. If you have the recency requirements, you complete that recency requirements of PIC hours within the last 18 months. So you need 20 hours of PIC in the last 18 months. You have to complete that if required. If not, then you directly go for your AFI check. So that AFI check is taken by another CFI who is approved, but not the same person who already did your 20 hours of patter training. Okay. So another CFI will take a check. Basically, it's like a test. So they will see how you've done your 20 hours of patter, whether you are uh, competent enough to become an instructor or not or whether those 20 hours of flying that you've done as an instructor are fruitful or not right so it's like sort of like uh, checking your standard as an instructor once you clear that particular check then you apply for your license so it seems like a you know a bit complicated or a pretty long process but on average it completely varies so a lot of factors which depend are first you have your ground class then you have your flying so flying obviously depends on the weather whereas ground classes can happen anytime whenever your uh, the particular person who whom you're taking patter training with is free or not so the timeline being 120 days and then the third factor which is there is when the exam date comes so basically when the oral interview exam dates come that is your third particular factor which decides the timeline of this entire process some people you know complete their training and everything in a period of maybe around two months or something like that whereas for some it can be variable and more than six months as well including the entire process from the very beginning till the time they get their license so what we understand till now is basically to become an instructor the first step is to get your AFIR rating in India okay that is assistant flight instructor rating in India for that you need a CPL plus you need your 20 hours of patter ground classes followed by 20 hours of patter that you do as an AFI as per the syllabus that has been provided by DGCA. So we'll talk about that syllabus as well in detail about every single sortie and their duration in the next video. Okay. After your 20 hours of flying, you have your oral exam followed by your recency requirements if there are any, otherwise the AFI check followed by your own flying school wherever you've joined as an instructor or will be joining they will have their standardization check as well so standardization check is basically to bring you to the standards and SOPs being followed in that particular flying training organization and the AFI check as I told before is basically to check your competency as an instructor 
So this is the overview of the AFIR rating, the pat of line that we do in India. And if you have any other questions, then you can let me know in the comments as well as we will be talking about it in more detail about every single sortie about the syllabus where to find the syllabus what all is there to be covered what is the duration of the exercises that are there and what is the pattern of those exercises so we'll talk about all these things in detail in the coming few videos so make sure you keep a track of the channel and uh, see you next time